Hey, it's Royal Ruby, and as promised, we're doing a video today by the beach. It's a beautiful day today, and we're parked right along. I don't know if you can see, but we're kind of like right there is the pathway to the ocean. So we are parked right beside it. And I'm doing a little video for you here today. We're going to make some chicken corn soup. It's that time of the year for comfort food. So we're going to make that for you today in my three quart instant pot, which I love when I'm vanning, when I'm camping. And I have a Jackery 1000 over here, which will accommodate the wattage that it puts out without any problem at all. So I use this all the time when I'm camping. This last trip that I took, I forgot to bring it. So I really, really missed having it um, in my van because like I said, I use it all the time. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. And it's a fall morning, a fall afternoon, I should say. And it's beautiful weather. So let's get on with it. Okay, here we go. Well, first we're gonna start out with some liquid because you have to have liquid in your Instant Pot. So I'm just gonna use some organic low sodium chicken broth. And you wanna have at least a half a cup of liquid in the three quart. I'm gonna actually put more than that in here because I want to be able to have a lot of food in here, so I might even use the whole thing. Let's see, I'm going to put that much in for now. So I probably have about a cup in there right now, which is good for the three-quart Instant Pot. Because when you're using the three-quart, I told you guys before, you have to make sure that you know you lessen all your ingredients because most of the recipes online are going to be for the six quart but this is the three quart and you're going to have to and the reason i'm using the three quart is because the wattage is lower which is what you need for the um the thousand jackery if you have the six quart it'll be too much wattage so yeah this is the actual um three quart and i'm using um about a cup of liquid you can use a minimum of a half a cup of liquid in this instant pot and still create recipes with it. Now, if you have a vegetable that releases a lot of liquids like mushrooms, you won't need as much liquid because they release water, okay? So that's the first ingredient. This is just so easy, guys. You won't believe it. And then I cut up a mirepoix, which is what is in this little container here. These are my collapsible storage containers that I use when I'm camping. And I'm going to put in a mirepoix of celery, carrots, and onions. Chopped. Put those in there. Can you hear the ocean? You should be able to hear the ocean. Okay guys, now I'm going to use a little bit of jarred minced garlic. This is another little trick I take when I'm camping. Instead of taking real garlic, just use the minced garlic. I'm just going to put a little dab in there. A little dab will do ya. Minced garlic, they have different ones at the store. This is Bellino minced garlic. So that's good. Time for a little break here. <laughs> It's kind of hot here in the sun. This is a LaCroix berry flavor. I drink these all the time. Okay. Now you're going to put in your light and fluffy. I buy the egg noodle. You can pretty much use any, any noodles that you want to use. I'm going to just take a couple handfuls. Camping, guys. Doesn't have to be precise. A couple handfuls. And then stir it around. You know what, guys? I'm going to use all of my chicken broth. Now, what you could do, instead of using all of that, you could take and add some water to it. enough egg noodles. I 
Now we're gonna add the chicken. This is the best part. I buy the canned chicken when I'm camping. And this is the Hormel brand, which is white chicken. It has water, it's, it's in water, but I've already drained it all out. I'm just gonna dump that in there. I drain most of it out. here guys you know how I am about bugs that's why I always cook in my dining canopy this is sea salt I had a lot of sea salt in there because these noodles need salt I'm gonna dump a nice amount of salt in there some black pepper I use this little pill box for all of my spices and then I label them aside what's in them. So here's a little Italian seasoning. Let's sprinkle some of that in there. A little bit of onion powder now. Crushed red pepper. That gives it a little kick. I think that's good. And just stir it up. That's all you do. And now, all you gotta do, that's how, that was how, how fast was that? What, five minutes we did that? And then you just take your, your lid here. And then you wanna make sure that you have it in the seal position, which it is. Okay, so now we're going to turn our jackery on. It's at 100%. And you can hear the Instant Pot come on. We're gonna go to pressure cook. And is that at 15? I think 15 is good. I mean, usually I do it for like, it's on. It's going. It's on. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's all there is to it. And it's cooking. That's how fast and easy it is. So in 15 minutes, you'll have a homemade chicken noodle soup in the Instant Pot. So guys, what I normally do when I'm in the van is I'll pull up these two tables here, these two table surfaces that I have, that I have these pieces of wood that go in, and then they have a little hook here that latch them together for reinforcement. And I just usually cook off of this now when I don't have my, my tents up. Let's just say I wanna pull along the road and make a meal or something like that, but I don't wanna put up my tent, obviously. I just wanna cook real quick off the back of the van. This is how I do it. I just cook right off the back of the van. I just put my jackery here on top of my refrigerator and it's handy. I can plug my uh, water pump into that, the DC plug. I can plug my refrigerator into that. Um, whatever I want to plug in, I can plug my phone in if it's going dead on me. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go for now. And when we come back, we'll have chicken corn soup, okay? See you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, we're back. Royal Ruby, we got our chicken, actually it's chicken noodle soup, because I got a little secret for you. I forgot to put the corn in. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the corn later. <laughs> I should have put it in there with the Instant Pot, but I forgot it. So it looks like we got two minutes left on the um, pot. No, it's actually done. It's in stay warm mode. So we're going to cancel. We're going to release the pressure. So the steam is done. Now we're gonna remove the lid and see what happened was it actually cooked a little too long. I thought 15 minutes was a little long for this because the egg noodles are gonna get a little mushy. Probably seven minutes would have been good. But um, nevertheless, it looks delicious. And I don't have a bowl, but I'm going to dish it out. show it to you. The egg noodles got a little mushy because 15 minutes is a little long. So now I'm going to show you this beautiful 
whole creation. Yeah, we could have cooked it for seven minutes. The noodles are egg noodles, so they really didn't have to cook for 15. That was a little long. But you can see it's got great, I wish you could smell it. It smells amazing. So then what I do is I usually finish it off. I'm gonna put this back on here to keep the bugs out of here. I finish it off with a little more sea salt. But these noodles are really, really, they need a lot of salt. A little more pepper. I got this great big spoon here that I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna use just so you can I could try it. It's probably really, really hot. You could have some sourdough bread with it. You could put some crackers in it. Um, you know, whatever you want to do. Now, I forgot the corn, like I said. So normally I would add about a quarter cup of corn in there. Um, but we forgot it, so. Oh my God. It's really good. Mmm. It tastes like you had it on the stove all day. That's what that pressure does. And the chicken is so good. Celery's nice and soft and the carrots, you can see how pretty it looks. And there's a little bit of that crushed red pepper. The carrots are beautifully cooked. But like I said, I probably should not have cooked it for 15 minutes. Seven minutes is the recipe I remember now, but when I went to hit the minus button, it already went to on and it wouldn't let me decrease it. I could have canceled it and then redone it, but I just left it go, so my bad. Mmm. Oh. This is great by a campfire on a fall evening. You could serve it in mugs and give everybody a spoon. And you could even melt a little cheese on top if you wanted to. Like I said, you don't have to give up anything when you go camping. I like to glamp, guys. It's the bomb diggity, guys. So there you go. made chicken noodle soup without the corn. Look at this. It's beautiful. My mom used to put yellow food coloring in hers. So she turned it yellow. You could still do that if you wanted to. So yeah, guys, that was delicious. And what's really cool about these containers is they collapse. So you can keep these in your fridge to store any leftover soup. And I would carry, I always carry two of these. So a pot of that soup would fit nicely into two of these. So then you have leftovers for the next night. So yeah, that's cooking with Ruby in the minivan by the beach, by the sea. So now we're gonna take a quick stroll on the ocean. Okay guys, we're here. Just did our video of the chicken noodle soup in the Instant Pot by the ocean. And now we're actually gonna walk up and show you the beach. Now it might get a little loud and I do not have a wind sock. Obviously iPhones do not have wind socks. So we're gonna have to just do a quiet video. in effect for today. So, this is the beach. In Bethany Beach, Delaware, guys. This is where we just were. Beautiful. This is where I live. This is why I'll never be a 
a full-time nomad. Because <laughs> this is where I live. I don't have to give that up to travel in a van. I just like to use my van for weekending and part-time camping. Maybe when I, you know, retire, I might go full-time. But, like I said before, when you live at the beach, you have this, you really have pretty much a vacation every day. They have this nice little bench here. But yeah, guys. This is Bethany. There's still pretty many tourists around. It's October 28th today, I believe. Today is Thursday. A nice nice day at the beach now Ted and I are gonna head home and eat the rest of that chicken noodle soup God bless you I hope you guys have a great weekend talk to you later bye bye